Hi guys and welcome back here to Drone Emotion. Today we're back here once again with a very exciting video because today we have finally received the confirmed specifications for the long-awaited DJI Mavic 3 Classic and in today's video we're going to be sharing every single spec of the Mavic 3 Classic from the flight time from the maximum flight transmission distance to all the camera specs the sensor size flight time absolutely everything will be covered in today's video so this is the video you've all been waiting for and well it's finally here but before we get started with today's video if you're new to the channel welcome here and if you want to keep up to date with any upcoming DJ release whether it is the inspire through which we'll be releasing this year the Mavic Air 3 and also the Mini 3 standard you already know this is the place to come for all the latest updates and news and also if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed yet I invite you to go ahead and join the Drone Emotion family so with that being said let's just go ahead and dive right into today's video which will be quite exciting and well we've been waiting to know the specs that the Mavic 3 Classic was going to have and well we finally received them thanks to our great friend Roland Quant over from Germany so a huge thanks to him he does a phenomenal job when it comes to any kind of tech related releases and well the Mavic 3 Classic is not the exception so let's go ahead and kick things off talking about the maximum transmission distance which will be eight kilometers on the standard basic DJI RC and the maximum flight time will be of 46 minutes with that 77 watt battery which is the exact same one that the current Mavic 3 has. Now let's go ahead and move on some more technical specs. So let's go ahead and kick things off talking about the flight details. So let's talk about that. The ascent and descent speed will be 8 over 6 meters per second and it will be having a wind, a wind resistance of 12 meters per second and, and an altitude above sea level the maximum height that we're going to be able to reach is 6,000 meters we're also going to be having the return to home function and the max temperature operating operating temperature will be of 40 degrees celsius range right there 8 kilometers and the radio frequency will be 2.4 and 5.8 gigahertz Let's talk about that beautiful, not brand new camera, but redesigned camera, which is the one that we have from the Mavic 3 Classic. Because this drone is basically going to be the exact same drone from the outside, from the body, as the Mavic 3, for the exception of the camera. It's the exact same camera as what we have on the Mavic 3 normal, but the telescopic lens has basically been chopped off. Aside from that, it's going to be having pretty much the exact same specs, which is actually a big of a surprise for many of you guys. Although it is was kind of expected, taking into consideration it is using the exact same body as the Mavic 3. Let's talk about the camera. What's going on over there? We're going to be having a 20 megapixel sensor. Of course, we're going to be having that micro four third CMO sensor, which has proven to be exceptional. And the video resolution will be at 5.5K and up to 50 frames per second we're going to be having a light sensitivity of our iso going from 100 to 6400 a focal length of 24 millimeters a digital zoom of 3x which is not too bad a shutter speed ranging from anywhere from 8 to 1 over 800 8, seconds and here we have our field of view we'll, we'll be having an 84 degree field of view with an equivalent focal length of 24 millimeters a variable aperture which is a huge key feature of the Mavic 3 Classic it's going to be manual and it's going to be able to adjust anywhere between f2.8 and f11 and the focus range will go from one meter up to infinity we're going to be having an internal storage on this drone of eight gigabytes and it's going to be able to be expanded with a micro sd of course in addition to that, we're going to be having night mode. We're going to be having omnidirectional dual vision system, infrared sensors in the bottom, and of course, a three axis stabilization and the DJRC N1 remote controller. Let's talk about the battery. It's right there, 5,000 milliampers, giving us 46 minutes of runtime. 
there are the dimensions and the weight has actually been reduced by a little bit by four grams and that is obviously coming from the camera itself but guys there we have them i would like i would now like to go ahead and throw a quick summary of everything we just went through and there it is in the screen those are the most important specs of the Mavic 3 Classic. That's pretty much all that you guys need to know. We're still waiting on a couple more, but that those are the primary specs of the Mavic 3 Classic. Let us know down in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts? Was it a surprise to you that the Mavic 3 Classic is pretty much the exact same drone as the Mavic 3 in terms of the specs? Or was this something you expected to see on this Mavic 3? classic but there they are guys the specs for the mavic 2 classic are final uh, are finally out so let us know your thoughts down in the comment section down below but that is going to be a wrap for today's video we're still waiting on the pricing for every single combo so make sure you stay tuned here in the channel make sure you subscribe and turn on your point notification because that video will be dropping in the next few days but that is going to be a wrap for today's video Thanks so much for watching and see you tomorrow with a brand new video. This is Drone Emotion, signing out.